What's up guys and welcome back to another Python tutorial. Let's get right to business. So here we are, we're in Replit and let's create a new project. We're gonna do Python obviously and today we're sending an email. So let's send an email by naming it send email, obviously. Now that we have our project loaded up, it's gonna be a really simple tutorial today. So let's hop right into the simple stuff by importing our library. So we're going to import smtp lib or library and we're also going to import ssl which is secure socket layer we're going to be using both of those later on in the program the very first thing we want to do is go ahead and specify a port so we're going to use port 465 and if you don't know why that is that's because SMTP, the protocol that's used to send email, is over port 465. Essentially how this is going to work is we're creating a SMTP client on our local machine, our PC right here, and then we're going to be sending that email over the internet to a server. In our case, we're going to be using Gmail's SMTP server because it's public and you can use it. And once that server receives our email from our client, it's going to forward it off to the proper place as long as everything checks out. So first, let's take a quick break from the code and I'm going to show you some settings on your Google account that you need to enable to use your Google account for this example code. So here we are, I'm in my Google account here and you need to go over to the security settings and find where it says less secure app access. And we want to make sure to turn that on. And the reason that is, is because we're writing some sort of app, obviously on our um, code over here. And we need this to be on so it can actually log into our account as us and then send an email to Google's SMTP server. If we cannot do this, then it cannot off to the server and then we can't actually send the email. So go ahead and click this little button and um, turn it on. Obviously this is going to be a security risk, so make sure to protect your information and only use this or only enable this when we're um, using this example here. Um, try to keep it off the rest of the time. Okay, so go back to our code. And now that we've specified a port, we need to specify the SMTP server that we're going to be using. And in our case, because we're sending it from a Gmail account, the um, appropriate server to use is Google's SMTP server. And let's do that. So we're going to create a variable called SMTP server, and we're going to set that equal to just this string, and it's going to be smtp.gmail.com. Next, we need to set up the sender email. In my example, I'm using a uh, test account that I created. We could just say sender email is equal to, and then SMTP test CS361 at gmail.com next we need to set up the variable that's going to be who we're sending it to so the receiver so we're going to say hey the receiver underscore emails equal to and then send it to whoever you'd like i'm going to send it to my other email account as a test i'm not going to give that out to you guys so this is going to be blank because it's top secret spicy information best thing to do i think instead of storing your password in plain text we're going to actually ask the user when we run the app for the password so we're going to say password is equal to input and input is a function in python that you can use to ask a question and receive uh, input from the user and we're going to say input is type your password and press enter next we're going to create the body of the message which will include a subject and whatever we like in the body so we're going to say message is equal to and then three quotes and one of these is going to be escaped you know give yourself a little bit of space and then down here we're going to have three closing quotes be careful because for some reason it really likes to add extra quotes and this backslash should actually be outside of here so the very first thing is we're going to have the subject of our email so my subject is going to be howdy ho you dingus how's it going and then right below that we're going to put whatever we'd like in the body of the message and for me i'm just going to have some you know, random sentence in here. So I'm going to say this message was sent from an awesome person. <laughs> no, not an awesome permission error. Come on now. Also, we're going to throw a like and subscribe in there because that's what you guys should be doing when you're watching this video. All right, guys, now that we have the message set up, now it is time to actually create the SNTP client to use to send all of our data that we just created out. So I'm going to create a variable called context and I'll explain it in a second, but we're basically going to say context is equal to SSL dot create underscore default underscore context and i wish i could spell today anyways make sure to open these parentheses at the end because we're calling a function as part of this ssl object so what this is actually doing is we're saying hey we're going to create this context and this is wrapping our connection in ssl and kind of creating with like default settings and default secure settings so that when we send this message over the internet it's encrypted and no one else can actually like you know intercept it and see inside of it unless they have our own like private key and stuff which obviously they don't. That's my understanding of this function. Sorry if I'm not 100% correct. Yeah, we're creating a SSL like wrapper to send our email in. 
Next thing we're going to do is say with, and if you don't know what with is in Python, let me explain. With statements basically ensure like proper acquisition and releasing of resources and they also allow you to do a couple other fancy things. So instead of saying like, I don't know, file equals, hey, this file open object, uh, we could kind of just say with open name our stuff and then as file and name it later. You know, it, we can do this another way, but for this example, I'm just going to be using with because I find it easy to use. So for this, we're going to say with smtb lib, so the library dot smtp in all caps underscore SSL. So we're going to use this SNTB library and access this SNTB SSL function. Then we're going to pass in the variables that we uh, created earlier. So for beginning, we're going to first specify the server we'd like to use and the SNTB server we've already created. So SMTP server, then a comma. Then the next parameter is a port and we've already named the port up above. So just say port. For context, we're going to say context is equal to context because we just created that variable earlier and that's going to be the wrapper for our message. Then we're going to close this parenthesis and just say as server. Basically, we're saying with all this junk, just call it server so we could reference it later. Make sure to add your colon and tab in on your next line. Next, we're going to say, hey, we want to take this server and we want to log in with it. And the credentials that we're going to be using is the sender underscore email, which we used earlier. So make sure that that matches. And then we're going to use our password that the user has provided for us. So now we have authenticated and, you know, set up all of our stuff. We want to say server dot send mail. And then we need to put a few things in as parameters. We're going to say first who it's coming from, which is our sender underscore email. Then we're going to say who it's going to, which is our receiver underscore email. And then finally, we want to say the context of the message, which we created in our variable message. So just say message. All right, guys, now that all of that is out of the way, we have written our super simple email sending program in only 18 lines of code. If you exclude the spaces, it's only 15 lines of code. Super simple. And, you know, let's just test it out. So go ahead and click run. Once you run it, it's going to say, hey, go ahead and type in your password. I'm going to blank this part out. All right, guys, I've just typed in my password and you clicked enter. And now you'll notice that this little console line showed up and it kind of paused for a second and then it just stopped. That means that our program has run. There's no errors. And let's go ahead and check our email on the other end. All right, guys, I'm in my personal email and you'll notice the very first message that showed up is the one that we just sent and it's coming from us. And if we click into it, you'll notice, hey, it came from the correct account we named and it has the message. And yeah, it works perfectly fine. And that is awesome. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. If you have any problems, comment down below. Um, go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you guys for watching once again and I'll see you in the next one.